is the impasto. Impasto technique. So we sat our paint out to get a little air. Okay. It's thickened. So in the past, we would mix a whiting or a gesso in our paint and let it sit overnight and thicken and do its thing. And then it kind of kills the pigmentation. So with Annie Sloan chalk paint, all you have to do is... Let it sit out, let it thicken up. You don't lose your pigmentation. And this is the one I talked about that covers like um, a table that's got a gouge from a move or if you've got that piece that has the bristled layers or whatnot. So on bigger surfaces, once again, you can use a sponge. With these, we're just gonna use um, the uh, little brush here. And I'm gonna do Bailey's first and I'm gonna wipe it off and let you do it again. You're gonna use a little bit more paint with this technique because you are adding texture. So if you've ever rolled on Venetian plaster rolled on joint compound and then knocked it down. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same um, same idea. So I'm going to dance this up just like when you were stippling. I'm going to create some mountains, I like to call them. Oh, create mountains. Mountains and valleys. Okay, so you go for it. Okay. Miss Amy. And then I like to use these. These are just little plastic oh, scrapers. You could do it. Yeah, and don't work the same area, Amy. Spread out and move because you don't okay. want to sit and kill your mountains that you're formed. Let your mountains sit up. These are little plastic scrapers, and I love these because they have a good edge, they have a bend, and they have a round here. They don't have that 90 degree angle like a lot of trowels and stuff do, so you don't want to create like that, those lines, that, that awful textured look sometimes found in Mexican food restaurants. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this is more of an old world, just a pretty finish. I'm gonna guide my tool. I'm not gonna scrape it, okay, Amy? So you're gonna let gravity and your hand just guide. Let your tools do your job. I'm just gonna knock down some of these mountains. Now, if you don't want to knock them down, you're going to get more of a stucco look, a heavy stucco look. So I'm going to knock that down. I've got a little bit of mountains left over, and I've got a, you know, a little bit of a, a plastered finish. That's what you're going for. So take that. Do that. Now, Miss Bailey, you know what? Just get a little bit of a little paint and start stippling. Seriously, that looks really good. And then once that dries, we're going to tint our wax to the Florence, and we're going to give it an old patina, very old world look. Now, if I pull Should out you a... always go in the same direction? No. No, there's no rules. Okay. Kind of guide it and just let it float. Just let your wrist kind of float around. Um, Tell me about the wax that you're going to tint. Oh, you go ahead with what you're going to talk if about. If I was to pull out a blow dryer mm -hmm. right now and put heat to it, if you've got a thicker set of pa uh, thicker paint and you put heat to it, it's going to crackle a little bit, which is good. So let's give it a shot. What do you say? Let me find the blow dryer. Say. Or if you're painting outside and you're in the sunshine, any of your paint, it might crackle a little bit, okay? So use that to your advantage, just know that it will happen. Bailey, do you know where the um, motor is? Um, I think I recently saw it. Saw it this is the chalk paint store in Buda, Texas. This is Rhonda J. Designs at work, Not teaching Buda. us. Buda. Not Buda, no, 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 sir. It's Buda, like beautiful. Beautiful Buda. <laughs> Anyway, you gotta come into this place. She creates, she does classes. That's what she's doing right now. But you gotta come visit Rhonda J Designs at the Chalk Paint Store. Look how fabulous. Come get a little bit of this fabulous to take home for you today. Welcome. Amy's laughing. Oh, 